Hello everybody and welcome to our next styling video tutorial on PrestaShop 1.7. In this video I'm gonna show you how to style your main menu um, and also I'm gonna show you how to fix position of this uh, drop-down sub-menu. Um, as you can see when you hover on over the one of the links in the main menu uh, drop-down sub-menu is uh, covering and um, hiding the main menu so I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna show you how to fix it in order to fix this we're gonna go to our um, um, installation a uh, theme folder themes folder of our PrestaShop 1.7 and we're gonna choose uh, our uh, um, custom theme theme folder and over there we're gonna choose assets folder and then CSS folder and we're gonna open our uh, custom.css file as you can see here uh, we have file that we created in previous video uh, with uh, some uh, styling so if you uh, didn't see my previous video uh, please go and uh, see uh, how we did this and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna add some selector with a property um, for the sub menu so I already copied copied uh, selector my clipboard so I'm gonna uh, paste it and over here as you can see we have a selector for uh, sub menu and we're gonna we have a uh, property it's called top uh, that it show how many pixels you uh, it should locate it from the top uh, as you can see it's 60 pixels but you can adjust according to your uh, needs uh, uh, and also uh, this important directive shows tells them that um, uh, only it overrides all the other uh, selector with the same uh, property so let's save it and go to our main, uh, website and let's hover and see as you can see now we have sub menu is um, located a little bit lower and um, now next step I'm gonna show you how to uh, change color and backgrounds of the main menu links so let's go back uh, to our custom CSS file and over here we're gonna insert um, another selector that we have here that's it's gonna overwrite uh, our selector in the, uh, in the, our main style CSS file um, or I would rather say it's a theme CSS file that's all right in our simtss file so let's go back to our uh, custom css file and over here we're gonna put another uh, selector um, um, that selects uh, our main menu link, uh, links links um, and as you can see uh, we have a uh, uh, color of the link will be blue and background around uh, of the link will be gold and added some transition um, 0.7 second and uh, this property says uh, created a border dash border and uh, around uh, um, our links with uh, green uh, color and uh, uh, 14 pixel width uh, to make uh, it look like uh, uh, some kind of pattern um, so let's save it and go back to our main home page and let's refresh it and we'll see now as you can see we have this um, cool looking uh, main menu so um, next step, step I'm gonna show you how to change a style and when you hover over uh, links in the main menu so once again let's go back to our custom CSS file and insert a uh, new selector um, 
it's pretty much the same selector that we have here just added some um, some extra uh, hover uh, uh, selectors um, when you hover over so we're gonna change color to gold and uh, background to blue and we're also gonna change bo border col color and added some transition to to it so let's save it and go to our home page and refresh we'll see as you can see here it's working so now it's colors uh, change change when you hover it and it also we have little uh, transition going on this is it for this video tutorial uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye Thank mm -hmm. you.